here with the Blair Witch Project. Oh my god, I'm gonna die! <laughs> we're here on Trivium's uh, tour bus, and we're gonna talk about their new direction, because they have the recent album. I look, I'm, I'm looking on heroin. Hey, we're here with Trivium. We're going to talk about the new direction for the new album because obviously uh, the Crusade came out recently. Uh, it was a change in direction, and apparently there's going to be a new change of direction for the new one. So we're here with Matthew Hayfever uh, to talk about the new point. thing. So Matt, you've obviously had the recent album. How has uh, the new live stuff changed how you feel about what you'll be recording well, next? Let me tell you something. First of all, your interview is about five minutes late, and we do things professional here, and you've got about 21 minutes left for this interview. Second of all, when we first started, oh, I remember about being about four years old, and I saw Michael Jackson on television. And uh, you know, ever since then, I knew that we wanted to be the next Michael Jackson because I wanted to be able to feel what he feels from the inside, with his hands, the boys. And ever since then, we've we've dedicated ourselves to become the next Michael Jackson. Do you do you feel ever feel like you're battling with a lot of other metal bands to be the next Michael Jackson? Because obviously it's kind of a saturated market in the Michael Jackson metal band. You know, everyone's always cutting us down for wanting to be the new Michael Jackson, but we're going to be it because we wanted it first. Have you never ever thought about maybe being the next Janet Jackson, the next Jermaine Jackson? <laughs> Michael's the way, because once you've had it all, there's nothing better than a little taste. A little did, boy. You, boy. did you never think that uh, Michael was a little derivative, particularly of, uh, of sort of, you know, uh, early blues, Scott Joplin and the early jazz musicians? Of I was just busy watching the pant moves. Fair enough. So when it comes to dancing, uh, Matthew, um, is, is that something you'll be moving into in terms of uh, on stage? Actually, we've been warming up, uh, you know, 16 hours before the show in the shower together, we practice our dance moves and we lather up. When you say together, is that just the band or is that entourage and, uh, it's, and crew? It's the band and the crew, just the male members of the crew. Okay. And we dance. There aren't many female members of the crew though. We've got one here, she's our fluffer. She, she ensures the, the unflaccidity of the penile erectus. So, how, how do you ensure that whilst trying to be uh, a lot more like Michael, that you're not, that your music is still original, but whilst taking oh, off. That's a good well, one, dude. I'm just gonna, I don't know. So for like Christmas, I want to move this in the hall. You might not get your camera back. That's <laughs> genius. Move this in the hall, Yeah. Gotcha. The light. I oh, think that was like his ball was hanging out. Your ball. I, to, I had a fucking rip in here a while ago, and I just noticed when I sat down. My balls like Where's your lady friend? Because she was receiving a lot of attention this evening. She was in. She's in my bunk. Slayer star meatheads. Were like, oh, you. Oh, you did. <laughs> Who's the Slayer star meathead? Hit you looked at my shoulder like someone's gonna hit me. Hey man, fuck, hey. fuck you. Fuck hey. you. I'm a Slayer fucking meathead. <laughs> 